We could be getting water from heaven, but our infrastructure is so destroyed. By the time it makes it to me and my family, it's no good. I will never trust what anyone says as far as the condition and quality of water. Always in the back of my head, I'm gonna be wondering. The city had essentially no records of what these lines were. The vast majority of the lead pipes were in the public portion of the line. The problem is that the mine is buried entirely underground. There's no way to find out what the material is unless you dig six feet underground. That's very expensive. It first would check, is the age of the property above this value? Then, is the home located in this neighborhood? Then, has this home had a water test? It takes all these little pieces of information and combines them into a single number, which is a probability, a probability of a home having a dangerous pipe. When this project started, we had a total of 36 verified homes where we actually knew the, the service line material. And now we have over 20,000 homes. Once you go from 36 to 20,000, the accuracy of the machine learning algorithm increases dramatically. That was a, a decent hit rate. It wasn't perfect. When it's something as, as devastating as this lead in this water, we don't need predictions. We need 100% accuracy to right this wrong. We need to actually dig them holes, excavate them holes, look down in that hole, and we see copper to copper or lead to copper. You come and replace my neighbors, but you don't replace mine according to a prediction. That don't help nobody's confidence. They did a less targeted, less focused approach. When it became clear that the hit rate of this new contracting firm had gone down so dramatically, people were, you know, concerned about that and were trying to figure out why government resources were being used to try to replace pipes at homes that actually didn't require replacement. Once all of these agencies that are supposed to be put in a place to protect you, deceive you and lie to you, how do you ever regain that trust back? The damage is permanently done to our bodies, to our infrastructure. You can never forget that. Our pipes haven't been changed yet. I don't really know what the service line pipes are. I want a person down there with a shovel literally down there and touching that pipe. Um, there's really no substitute for seeing someone dig in your front lawn, removing that lead pipe and replacing it with a fresh copper pipe. The goal is really just take advantage of all the information that we have and remove the lead from the homes that actually have lead as quickly as possible 
so that no residents in Flint have to continue living with lead more than five years after the water has been switched. Don't trust. Yeah. Five years later, Flint is not fixed. Flint's tap water is not. There are things that will never change in my life or my family's life as a result of this. And until the water system is completely replaced, there will be little, if any, true trust in the water that comes from the tap. Thank you.